Well, a lot of you might be wondering about what the difference is between the ACT and the SAT and which test you should choose. Um, in reality, they're fairly similar tests. They do test you on um, a lot of the same material. Uh, you have to know a lot of the same math, geometry, algebra, arithmetic. Um, you've got to know a lot of the same writing and grammar rules, dangling modifiers, subject verb agreement, pronoun agreement. Um, and you also have to be able to read and understand questions in context for reading comprehension. While that's true, there are some differences between the tests. Uh, the ACT does have trigonometry, logarithms, and a few other mathematical topics that are not on the SAT. Uh, and it's also not split into the same sections that the SAT is. So while on the SAT you'll have 10 sections that are roughly between 20 and 24 minutes long or 25 minutes long, the ACT is broken into just four sections um, the first one is English, which is all grammar, the second one is math, the third one is reading, and the fourth one is science. So you'll have one whole section of a certain topic and it just is completely done and over with and you move on to the next one um, and the next one until you're finished with the test. Some kids might like that, some kids might like the um, ability to split up those different material, um, those different sections over the course of the test. It's really personal preference. Uh, in terms of the difference between the two tests, the, between the two tests, a lot of you might have heard different rumors out there that maybe the ACT is easier, um, that's not as challenging as the SAT, or maybe the SAT is easier. Um, that's actually not really accurate. Um, while there are differences between the tests, most kids are going to end up scoring about the same um, on both the two, on both exams. Uh, if there are students out there who might do better on one test over the other. They're usually rare um, instances where that does happen. It might be because a student uh, doesn't work as well under time pressure. The ACT is a much faster test than the SAT is. Um, or maybe a student has more trouble with reasoning questions, um, which is what the SAT is geared towards. Um, so there are a few instances where a student might do better in the ACT than the SAT or vice versa. But for the most part, most part kids will do um, just about the same in both exams. Uh, so it's really hard to predict which test is going to be right for you. The best way to do this is probably to just take a practice test in both and see how you score. Um, what's the harm in doing that? Um, as you get ready for these tests anyway, you should be preparing yourself by taking practice tests, by doing homework over the course of the year, and you know the best way to, to get a solid answer about which test is the right one for you is just take one. Just experience them both. See which one you feel more comfortable with. Um, figure out which one you score better on, if you score better on one or the, one or the other. Uh, and see which one fits your personality better, which one you'd rather spend the school year studying for. And um, that's probably the best way to figure out which one's right for you.